Hi guys, I'm Stefan and I made a little movie called Sex Terrorists on Wheels, aka Motorcycle Maniacs. And those funny guys from the Movie Massacre show on YouTube gave it its first really good review. You should check it out. And now those guys make a horror web page and they asked me if I would like to do a little interview with them about Sex Terrorists on Wheels, aka Motorcycle Maniacs. So they sent me six questions and here we go. The first question is where did your love of film start? Well, I would say it started at a pretty early age because I discovered Italian horror movies way too early and I got really messed up and really obsessed with movies. Number two, if you could remake any film with a slasher icon in it, who would you choose? Who would want to remake a movie with a slasher icon? I mean, why would anybody want to ruin a slasher icon? If I would get paid to ruin a slasher icon, I would choose Chucky. Because it's pretty ruined already, it's kind of ground zero. And I really love the first three movies. So I would make a Chucky Christmas movie, like Black Christmas, but the murderer would be Chucky. I think it would be pretty great, wouldn't it? Number three. How many hats did you wear on the set of Motorcycle Maniacs? I wore zero hats because it was winter and those hair kept my ears and head warm all the time. Didn't need a hat. Five. Here's a silly one. Was the lesbian scene awkward to film? Well, that is a silly question. And the answer is no, not for me. It was really cold on that day. Like, uh, well, every day was cold. It was like a record winter in Texas. So when we shot that scene in the river and the girls were in the river, I hid their clothes and all their costumes and I said, Give me some sleaze and sex or freeze to death. And then, well, love was in the air and they kind of had to keep themselves warm and they really got into it. Really nice. And Felix the coral snake even got stiff because it was so cold on that day. That was a silly answer to a silly question. But the truth is... Um, those were all professionals and once they signed for a movie called Sex Terrorists on Wheels, they weren't embarrassed of anything at all. What inspired you to make Motorcycle Maniacs aka Sex Terrorists on Wheels? Well, there are, I mean there are a lot of movies that like inspired me to do this. Basically everything by Al Adamson, just like this guy here, you know, Satan Sadist, from Al Adamson with Gary Kent. Motorcycle Maniacs is a lot like Satan Sadist. Actually, Gary Kent is kind of reprising his role as the hero, teaming up with a woman, and that woman kind of looks like this woman, Joanna Raleigh from The Mercenary. So that's kind of in it. And of course, the sleaziest biker film of all is Mad Foxes. Probably the only other biker movie where someone gets his tally wanker cut off. And some other really nasty stuff is happening in there. Uh, it's probably even sleazier or the same sleaze level in Sex Terrorists on Wheels. And at those movies, you know, if you put them in a box and you know, you give them some drugs and booze and at one point, of course, they start to rape each other and what happens is nine months later, they come up with a little baby called Sex Terrorists on Wheels. And you can buy this beautiful, really beautiful Blu-ray right here um, on DarksideRaising.com. You get the OG title version. This version will not be manufactured anymore. You can also wait until February and get a Motorcycle Manix Blu-ray on Amazon, but I suggest you to get this 
baby here, right, with a little lit cover notes, whatever you want for a Blu-ray, you know, looks good, feels good, it's a good movie. All right, and then, are you currently working on any future projects? Of course. Well, actually, I'm kind of waiting, like, everything for the next movie is kind of set up almost, but the current situation kind of, well, I just have to wait. Right now I can't go anywhere, you know, so we'll see. It'll be like Stowe, it'll be um, kind of a western with characters that are probably very well known to some of you, especially if you read the, the really, uh, the the greatest western book of all, Blood Meridian. It's very gory, you will love it, it's very sick and twisted, and I'm going to make a movie with those characters. With the same guys, I'm teaming up with my partner, co-writer John Herndon again, and the sex terrorist and Wheels gang, and we're getting serious this time. All right, I guess that's it. That was fun. Um, I hope you watched the movie after you saw this interview or after you saw the review from Movie Massacre Show. Stay safe and stay home. Bye.